executive director of theblacksphere.net and author of the book Race Pimping, and political commentator Lisa Durden. Thank you both for being here. Lisa, let me Thank start you. with you. What, why are the students still unhappy? I know there were, there were some incidents on campus involving race. Mm -hmm. They didn't think that they acted quick enough to address mm -hmm. them or, more, or robustly enough. Why are they still unhappy? Instead of that idiot, Mr. Wolf running around blubbering on and on to the break of dawn about how change <laughs> takes listening and learning and caring and conversation. What he needed to do was open up Webster's Dictionary and learn that change takes actions. So his stupid pontificating was dumb. He should have put some r r r uh, things in place to ensure that students of all races felt comfortable and stamp out the racist actions happening by racist students. And Instead, what he's doing is running around doing victim blaming. This is so lowbrow and expected. And anybody who's watching right now who wants to hit me up on Twitter, it's at Lisa R. Durden, because that's what you do every time I come on the show. I'm ready for you. Don't respond to the Twitter hate. Oh, that's, my bad. That's, just, that's like breathing in the bus exhaust. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, uh, did these guys get what they deserved? No, I think it's ridiculous that they would even consider resigning. Look, Megan, we had Donald Sterling, who had a private conversation exposed, and he lost his team. We had Paula Dean, who 40 years ago maybe used the N-word at some point. And today, we have people who did nothing, who lost their jobs. If this is something that America wants to face, the idea that you could be the CEO of a company, somebody at your company could, could say something off color, pardon the pun, to somebody black, and they're going to throw a conniption, then who wants to, who wants to lead? And the second part of it is, when we look at black unemployment, just being blunt, who wants to hire people that every time th there's any racial insensitivity of any sort, it doesn't even have to be real, they, they're going to be losing their jobs. This is undoubtedly the most ridiculous thing that's happening in colleges, and it's essentially chickens coming home to roost in liberalism, because these, these so-called racial incidents are things that most people would blow off. Maybe you'd write about it on Twitter, and that would be the end of it. There was one thing, like there was a swastika on campus. They didn't feel that enough was done to... excrement. So you're going to tell me that the, ongoing well, first, first, racial first slurs... First of all, ongoing oh, wait, 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 let Lisa feces, go, and then I'll go back to you. Ongoing racial slurs, sure. ongoing feces, having um, uh, swastikas, swastikas in excrement, and people throwing around these epithets is just some thing we can brush off. When Tim Wolf himself said he was wrong and he should have done something about it, he, he did not lose his job. Job. He so what? quit his he, job. He, so what? So he what? was forced to quit his job. He was forced to quit his job because they hit them in the pockets. A few million dollars in fines. Take that, you idiot. Kevin? He's a, he's a political tool, a tool of political correctness, and that's the only reason why he left. The fact of the matter is, uh, the swastika, just for your, your guess's information, is directed at Jews, not blacks. Well, so the I'll, idea I'll, that so that's you, something... Oh, so if, you are, I, you're I'll okay you with talk. thinking I'll on Jews. Talk. Just let him finish his point. I'll let, I'll let you talk. Okay. The point is, it was not, it was not directed at the black students. So if you want to, if you want to talk about it from the standpoint of Jews, I'm happy to have that discussion. But look, you are, if you think that these kids are not going to face these issues when they get into real life, it's of ridiculous. Course. There are people that are going. There are people that are going to say things about you. And if this is the level that is, if this is all that it takes to get a rise out of people to where they want to pick it and people lose their jobs, mm -hmm. understand this is not isolated for what's just happening at this university. Luckily, this is I'm that's not the black person. Black people long term. Go ahead, quickly, Lisa. Let's, luckily, I'm not a black person who only cares about black people. I care about all people. Yeah, you are. So when you hurt people, Jews, women, black kids, you hurt everybody. So excuse me if I care about hurt? Jews. Okay. Excuse I gotta me. Leave it that. Who got I, hurt? I, I, Nobody got hurt. I gotta go. It's great to see you both. When we return.